has an eye for talent and food. He has put amazing cuisine from around the world on your screens, and he put me on a hit show he created. Please welcome Phil Rosenthal! Phil Rosenthal. Oh my God. Oh my, it's so nice to see your face. Your face is the best face in TV. Oh I God. Say. I mean, you, when you told the story at the beginning that we had wanted Queen Latifah, uh -huh. I didn't remember that. Yeah. I can't imagine anyone else but <laughs> Sherry, can you? The greatest, the greatest. Thank and you. And you were on a lot because we loved you. Oh. And the audience loved you. Thank you so much. We were much. so lucky to have you. It, I was lucky to be there because it yeah. was a great show. <laughs> it was a great family show. And it's been, it, it just boggles my mind that it's been almost 20 years since uh, we've worked on Everybody Loves Raymond together. Look at, look at the barons. Children, oh children. Oh my gosh, they're all children. Yes, you look the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, black don't crack. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever this is, does. <laughs> Literally, but working on Everybody Loves Raymond, Phil, I know you got so many memories. Is there anything that you... Uh, I remember uh, Ray Romano always never did the same line. Like, his punchlines would always be different. We would call them take twos. And, yes. and right before we shot the show that night, he would go in the back with some of the writers and me sometimes, yes. and we'd think of punchlines that wouldn't change the show, but they were kind of plug and play. And yes. he loved that, and it kept it fresh. All right? the time. So, because you have to do a couple of takes before the audience. Before the audience. This is the beauty of the four camera sitcom. Yes. I wish there were more of them because mm -hmm. it's this perfect in between theater and film, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. it is. But one thing I want to say to you, I have to give you your flowers. You were such <laughs> a great boss that when we had the writer strike and there were so many writers who were struggling because they weren't getting paid, Phil Rosenthal took care of all of his writers from week to week <laughs> out of his own pocket. And just it, it just and it just speaks to your character and your integrity. And I believe one of the reasons why Everybody Loves Raymond was on for so many seasons because it had a great leader oh, in the show. Thanks, Phil, thanks. definitely. Well, so, I would say uh, I had a lot of help, you included. Oh well, thank yeah. you for that. But this is what's so funny because I remember there was an episode on, on Raymond where Ray's character uh, they traveled into Italy and yes. Ray Ray hated to travel. Right. And so in your Netflix series, you travel around the world eating and tasting food. Now, did that inspire you for your show, which is Somebody Feed Phil? That very episode inspired oh, really? me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at me go. Look at you. Look at me go. <laughs> All over the world. This is season six. It it came out today. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, yeah. And so you just travel and you eat. I'm trying to get you. I'm I'm using food and my stupid sense of humor to get you to travel because I think the world would be better if we all could experience a little bit of other people's experiences. Yes, it right? is. Yes, it would. But no. that. <laughs> but this is season six on the Netflix, and yes. I want everybody to watch. I I'm very proud of the show. I'm very proud of it because especially we they let me do an extra episode this I don't know if you've seen it but my parents were a big part of the show. You would call your parents at the end of the show. At the end of every show. Yes. And they they yes. Look at this. There they are. So not to bring the room down but they've both passed away. Yes. And yes, yes. And Netflix very generously let me do a special episode called Helen and Max. Oh. And that show is part of season six. So you yeah. got to honor your yes, parents I did. Yes. on the show. Well, they were the best part of the show. Absolutely, they made the show every time you called I think them. so. And you know that they were a big part of Raymond. Yes, they were. Because a lot of stories came from stuff that those two people did. <laughs> I love how you honor your parents. One of the other things I love about the show is you, you know, the episodes that I call, you're always making these faces. You got the most expressive face. So on the show, you make the funniest, look at these faces that you make. What's with this? What's with this? This is what those two people gave me. <laughs> is what this is. This, I got a lot from them, including that face. And 
you know, I can't, it's, it's, those are, these are real. I'm not like acting. Yeah. I'm not an actor. This, this is how I feel about each one of these things. I, uh, I can't love. play poker. Okay, no, you don't have a poker no, face, Phil. And you love food. I do. You do, you eat it. And so you got a book to go along with the show. And I want you, as we go to these dishes that you've got, I want you to tell me about the book. Tell me about your book. I will tell you. The book is a companion book to the show, but it's also the 60 most requested recipes from the audience. Oh, really? From around the world. It's probably the best cookbook in the world. Okay, well, we got the Because of the chefs. Because of the chefs. All right, this all looks so good. So let, what dishes do we have here that we're going to be tasting? Well, this recipe is my mother. Mm -hmm. Her matzo ball soup. Really? You like matzo ball soup? You know, I've never had matzo ball soup. Come on, Sherry. No, I've never had matzo ball This is soup. a big day for me to have. I, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna. Let's see what happens to you before I eat it. Okay, your mama need to slap you, Phil. <laughs> this is all good. Oh, she did. Don't this worry. Matzo ball soup. Don't is worry, so she did. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mmm. It's nice and warm and it's hot and mmm. Do you mind if I go in? No, go in. It tastes, it melts in your mouth. Okay, save that. This is mine. What's this one right here? Look at that face. Look at that face. I have to tell you, this is a little better than my mother's. Yeah, uh, that is good. Now, what is this? Don't touch this. This is mine. Okay. okay. What is this? Oh, this was when I was in um, Rio de Janeiro. You ever been to Rio, Rio de Janeiro? Rio de Janeiro, no, I've read So this about is, it. wait, this is a steak sandwich uh -huh. with foie gras. Okay. And there's no mustard on, or mayonnaise in there to, to kind of moisten the it up. The foie gras, that's like the liver pate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But the, the condiment in there that they do that's so special is pineapple. Ooh, pineapple. Do it. Let's do it. Mmm. That pineapple gives it a really. I like that sharp taste. That makes mm. it, right? Mm-hmm. I can't even talk, y'all. This is so long. <laughs> this pineapple makes it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, he's been married for like 45 years. He's... <laughs> now, tell me, what is next? What's over here? <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. This is for you, because I hear you're from Chicago. Mm-hmm. I'm from Chicago. This is from, <laughs> this is from Bang Bang Pies in Chicago. Mm. This is their PB and J pie, and it is sugar free for you, dear. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So it's a P. Hold P on. Everybody feeds me. I want to feed Sherry. Okay. <laughs> what you think? What do you think? Is it good? Let me. I've try. never had. Peanut butter and baby and J pie. This is really good. It is really good. I like this cake on it. It's like a cheesecake. This is like a cheesecake. Pass this around the audience. Will you? <laughs> you gotta give him a fork. <laughs> Phil Rosenthal, thank you so much for being here. And Phil's book and show, Somebody Feed Phil, are out now. So, studio audience, you are all going home with a copy of the book.